wheels are obviously a huge part of the car. There's a lot of physics that you have to take into account first, like the moment of inertia, the rotational kinetic energy, the angular velocity that you want to achieve. Obviously, you want to keep your weight down on F1 schools car to the absolute minimum. Because obviously the lighter, the better, the faster it will go. So it's very important to have a lightweight wheel system. You have to look into manufacturing methods and material selection. We actually designed it on a computer and then 3D printed it. First of all, we had aluminium wheels, but then we found out that they're way too heavy. There were a number of manufacturing methods that we looked at, such as we wanted to 3D print stainless steel wheel with a stainless steel filament. Obviously, that's not very cheap. The material that we used for our wheels was acetal. We didn't do it with a 3D printer because with a 3D printer you can never achieve a perfect circle. As we advanced and got more knowledge about the physics behind the wheels, we also found new partners supporting us and just manufacturing better, finer wheels. And you have to look at your axles and bearings as well, which all form an important part of your wheel system. From an axle's point of view, you probably want the lightest material possible, but obviously if it's not strong enough, it's going to break in the middle of the race and you're going to lose way more energy than you would if you had a slightly heavier axle. Each material has obviously its favorabilities and characteristics. There is regulations specified within the brief that you have to follow. However, there is many routes you can take.